All right, hello everybody. I bet nobody expected this from me, but I am going to be playing Silent Hill. Yes, it is October, and I figured I would do a horror special. I've had quite a few people ask me if I wanted to do a horror game, and I've been very reluctant to because horror and I don't really get along because I'm not very good. But just to let everybody know, it's going to be a very, very laid back, relaxed playthrough, not my traditional type. Um, it's going to be not really helpful. It's just going to be playing the game for the sake of playing it. So because of that reason, we are going to start and you can take it somewhere else if you don't like it. I'm going to be playing on easy uh, for the sake of myself and everybody else. Um, this game is actually really difficult on hard and on normal it's not too bad, but for the sake of the, of the let's play, I'm going to play on easy. So let's get started. This is the loading screen, by the way, the character they're running. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Cheryl. Ho ho, alright, so some character movement. This is our protagonist here whose name will be revealed later, for those of you who haven't played. Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Hey, don't you run away from me. I'm your father, miss. Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! Alright, let's go chase our little girl through the fog. Quick note to everybody is uh, that this is actually a blind, I guess, playthrough of me actually playing the game. Um, I've watched many, many Silent Hill LPs because I am a huge fan of Silent Hill. I always have been. And I've watched many a LP of this game, but I've never played. And I have a little bit of troubles with moving the character around, so if you see me uh, derp out on the controls, please don't yell at me. Like I said, it's supposed to be a laid back. I'm trying to get used to it, and I usually do do a little bit of practice before I start recording, um, just so it's not completely and utterly a piece of crap. Um, I have also tried to use both the control pad and the control stick. I don't find one or the other better, so as you can see now, the camera angles are changing, and it's kind of difficult to move maneuver around. You can see I just ran into a wall, so... Yeah, do keep that in mind, um, I'm gonna try to fix it and get used to it as we go on throughout the game, and I'm really hoping it's gonna get better. That's strange, it's getting darker. <gasps> sirens, oh, sirens in Silent Hill is never a good sign. Better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, you take that later. Alright, I don't know where the hell our daughter could've went. Oh, wheelchair? That's, that's not creepy or anything. Oh, I can't see anything. Uh, she's not here. Unless this, she's she's on this gurney. I doubt it, though. Did she go down here? No. Oh, God. Scary music. I don't like this at all. What is this? What's going on here? Oh dear lord, okay, I- oh my god, demonic children with what looks to be knives. Get off me. We have nothing to defend ourselves, so I think at this point you actually just kind of let yourself get caught. Oh, uh, oh no. Run away. Uh, uh, oh, this game is so intense. I don't think I can go through this gate. Yeah, it's- it's blocked. Oh god, we're boxed in with demonic children, I- uh, uh, and we're dead already? But we just started. Oh, never mind, there we are.
Oh, hey, baby, what's up? Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. Who the hell comes here for a vacation? I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh-huh. Have you seen a little girl? Classic line. Just turned seven last month. Short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Harry M. fucking Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm That's going comforting. to some reinforcements. Real comforting. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. You're gonna need one. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Thanks, Sybil. All right, so yes, this is Harry Mason, who is the best protagonist of all the Silent Hill games. In my opinion, uh, not only that, but he is father of the year. I would not go to find my kid if they were in Silent Hill. Screw that. I would... I would completely pu puss out and just be like, ah, I'm out of here. I'm going to go call the police or something. So there's a few things to gather in the cafe before you go. Uh, let's go over here. I'm just going to walk for now because I don't want to run into stuff. Because as you can see, again, proof of the derp control system. This is the same way it is in Silent Hill 3 as well, which is why I didn't play Silent Hill 3, although I own it. And this is a map which will show us all of Silent Hill and... You need the map. Just take the map. It will help you out immensely. And then over here is the save pad. Someday someone may experience those bizarre events. Hopefully they will find my notes useful. Ah yes, Harry, right in your diary like a real man. Alright. File 1 is going to be for the playthrough. File 2 is going to be my practice. So yeah, so I guess in a way it isn't blind because I'm going to be practicing a little bit so I don't completely uh, piss everybody off, but I haven't played it uh, outside of this playthrough, so I guess that's kind of why it's blind. Okay, so we got our gun, we're in good health, and we got pretty much everything out of the police station, so I think we should probably head on out here. Wasn't that radio What's broken? That? That's suspicious. Huh, radio. What's going on with that radio? Uh, 
Oh, I jumped. Oh, I knew it was coming too, but I still jumped. But this game, I tell ya. Die! Monstrous bird thing. Oh, this scary. Is What's happening to this place? Oh, creepy. I'll try not to uh, scream or jump or anything, but yeah, this game does scare the crap out of me. So this is a pocket radio. And it started making noise when the monster was nearby. That is the radio's function. It functions as kind of a detection for when monsters are nearby. Oh, such heavy, heavy stuff in only the first episode of the Silent Hill playthrough. In the next episode, we're going to leave the cafe and hopefully find Cheryl. I can't imagine what she's doing out in Silent Hill. It's no place for a child. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're going to enjoy this playthrough. And join me next time for more Silent Hill.